The head of Guinea's ruling military, Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya, announced on Wednesday evening three days of national mourning for those killed in deadly explosions and fire at the country's main fort depot in Conakry. The city of Kaloum, Conakry's economic center, was hit hard by the explosion on Sunday night, causing extensive damage and paralyzing the economy. In the district of Koronti, the epicenter of the explosion, the central prison of Conakry was not spared from the violence of the blast. On Tuesday evening, the Minister of Justice Charles Alphonse Wright, who visited the scene, said 33 people had been injured. For the time being, no information on the cause of the fire have been made known. The Public Prosecutor's Office is currently conducting a judicial inquiry into the suspected crime of arson in order to establish the causes of the fire and its perpetrators. International reactions and messages of solidarity continued to pour in on Wednesday. Musa Faki Mahamat, chairman of the African Union Commission on Wednesday, expressed his sincere condolences and deep sympathy to the families of the victim of the explosion. The Economic Community of West African States called on the organization's member states and the international community to support Guinea at this difficult time and announced the resumption of GL supplies to the country, although restrictions on the tanker remains in place.